Where's Lenin? Just like at the VDNH in Moscow. Indeed. But this statue was erected not by simple workmen, but by robots, based on a sculptor's sketches. This approach has become quite popular over the last year. Locked. What else is new? Charles? Open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. contains the Hawk Terminal, but the security system locked the door when the emergency protocol was activated, preventing unauthorized access. on high alert. Increasing their sensor range. You've triggered their sensors, Major.
Volan. Sweet. Okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VBNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land, so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. <laughs> Here's Lenin. Just like at the VDNH in Moscow. Indeed. But this statue was erected not by simple workmen, but by robots, based on a sculpture's sketches. This approach has become quite popular over the last year. Locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I... Lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. Milan. Sweet. Okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VBNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk.
It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk to land so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. What are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the Hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hawk 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. What are these cables for? They weren't... So, what will it be, Major? What... So, what will it be, Major? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable.
shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. A civilian robot for real that thing a civilian robot you tell me major you have far more experience with combat robots than i do i i do i mean shit i do but i can't remember a damn thing they seem different somehow
Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. Great. The mirror on the right is all set. No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well... Whatever. Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No! I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. What you staring at, you metal dipshit? Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls.
What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption mm. system. Here, under Earth conditions, mm. the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Cause no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. 
So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that... ...because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader, a puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest? Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro-connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. 
It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal mug is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off.
So, what will it be, Major? What? Please select the desired pres- Dead bodies all over the place. Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight.
Receiving data. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi-key activated. Now what? Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The Tereshkova is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center! What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I will not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. I can tell you about all four floors of the exhibition. Chelome, Pavlov, Vavilov, and Sahalin.
So, about this Darwin test. Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn! Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Ah, shut your face, you dumbass toaster! I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praised. And with their lives defend. <sighs> Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state of the art quantum supercomputer, based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims. These are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But... I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me.